I also think it's one of those things where you've been to that party where you're like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm kind of down for the ride. Even when we read the script for the first time, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I, you know, I've, I've been pitching it as, as a sci-fi thriller with jokes, with a sort of like unique heightened tone. Uh, the sort of uh, whole impetus was like, uh, what if eight people got together in a house uh, for a party? And what if uh, this guy that no one had seen shows up with this suitcase and then like, what's in the suitcase? And then stuff gets kind of crazy. Yeah, so, um, and then I made a lookbook that sort of had a, a bunch of references, tonal references, visual references. Argento Suspiria was a huge uh, visual reference and just tried to kind of articulate what the tone was. I'm not sure if I did it properly or not, but uh, <laughs> try it. I was so confused when I read the script. <laughs> I didn't know what the <laughs> hell it was. Happening. I actually I heard that James yeah. Conn, I called you and I was like, can you make heads or tails? <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> we just talked to Greg. And then yeah. once we sat down, I was like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. So yeah. 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 And you, you need that, you know. Yeah, I tried to really act, act like I did yeah. when we met. Yeah. That reminds me that one, another question I wanted to ask was, did anyone have like a burning question that they had for Greg during the first meeting or sit down or conversation. Yes, but yes. we wouldn't be able to answer given the restraints we've been placed on. Yeah. The, I, I, I can kind of say every single, almost every single person, uh, except for one actor, all asked basically essentially like, how are you going to make this script make sense? Essentially, is the, is the question that I was asked. And the one thing that was so clear when speaking to Greg, when I think at, in my process, I don't know if you guys felt the same way, but. When I was speaking with you, I felt like you created um, a heightened experience with all the senses. Even just showing me the music and showing me who you kind of envisioned for each character, I felt like I could see it come to life. And that was, that was something that made me want to jump on that train with you. You have this really special and unique way of creating, I guess, a very sensual experience for an audience member and for you know, the actors being in the story. Um, and that's very unique. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine no one here has experienced anything akin to what is in the movie, but has anyone been on a really crazy friend trip, people in a house situation? I mean, I guess one thing that's, it's not that crazy, but like one thing that is relevant to the movie is like the first time I played the game Werewolf, which actually was an inspiration on the movie. Um, you know, the game Werewolf is you, you get a group of people, one person is the werewolf and they're slowly killing everyone and everyone has to suss out who it is. I, I, I played that game with a bunch of friends a few years ago and it got like so intense uh, because, you know, like, 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 you know, people have to lie. Some people like still aren't talking to each other after that, not, uh, that night. So I guess that was, it, that's, that's what kind of came to mind when you said that. But there were no drugs involved. No. To my knowledge. <laughs>